This 1981 Jeep CJ7, listed for $1,800 in Indianapolis, Indiana, has been driven 100,000 miles and features an automatic transmission. The exterior is brown, while the interior is black. It's described as being in poor condition, with an original all-steel body that has patches and Bondo repairs. Additionally, the rear frame has been bobtailed. Under the hood, it houses an SBC 350 four-bolt main engine, indicating it has potential power, but it currently runs and drives roughly. The seller emphasizes that buyers should understand the condition of the vehicle and states that no trades will be accepted. This Jeep is available for cash only, and interested parties should call between 2 to 8 p.m., as the provided number is a landline and does not accept texts. The vehicle comes with a clear Indianapolis title in the seller's name. This Jeep could be an intriguing project for enthusiasts familiar with restoration work and looking for a classic off-roader with potential. However, given its described condition, prospective buyers should be prepared for significant repairs and restoration efforts. This 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner, listed for $1,500 in Panama City, Florida, has a staggering 1,000,000 ,000 miles on the odometer and features an automatic transmission. The exterior is blue and the interior is white. This vehicle runs on gasoline and is fully paid off. The car is described as mostly complete with a running 318 engine and a functional transmission. However, it lacks operational brakes, has rust issues, and does not come with a title. The seller has emphasized the absence of a title twice, indicating it might be a significant consideration for potential buyers. Despite these drawbacks, this Plymouth Roadrunner could be a worthwhile project for a classic car enthusiast who is willing to invest time and effort into restoring it. Prospective buyers should be prepared for the challenges associated with the rust, the lack of brakes, and the need to obtain a title for legal use. This 1967 AMC Ambassador DPL, listed for $1,000, has seen significant use with an estimated 1,000,000 miles on the odometer. It features an automatic transmission with a white exterior and a blue interior. The 343 engine has experienced issues in the past, particularly with a spun motor due to a solenoid problem. There is typical rust around the rear quarters above the wheels. The vehicle is mostly complete but is missing the radiator. It doesn't come with a title, though an antique bill of sale will be provided. Additionally, there is a notable mouse odor due to prolonged inactivity. The asking price of $1,000 reflects the need for substantial restoration and repair. Potential buyers should carefully consider these factors before making a decision. This 1979 Ford LTD, listed for $1,000, has 123,456 miles on it and features an automatic transmission. The exterior is green, but the interior has been stripped out. Equipped with a 351 Windsor engine and a good automatic transmission, it runs and drives well. Initially intended to be converted into a derby car, the project was abandoned, leaving the doors still functional and the body intact with all four matching Pacer rims. No welding work has been done on it. The seller is open to negotiating the price and is also interested in trades, particularly for dirt bikes, four-wheelers, or other guy-friendly items. This vehicle could be a good fit for someone looking for a project car or parts. This 1979 Ford Mustang Coupe 2D, listed for $1,800, is located in Powell, Tennessee. The car has an automatic transmission and a straight-six engine, but hasn't been tested for functionality as there are no keys. The exterior is yellow and the interior is white. Notably, the car comes without a title, making it suitable only as a project or parts car. It has visible rust in several areas, as shown in the provided pictures. Given its condition and the lack of a title, uh, prospective buyers should be prepared for significant restoration work. The asking price reflects these factors, and it's crucial for buyers to carefully evaluate the extent of repairs needed before purchasing. This 1961 Ford Fairlane, listed for $1,200 in Westland, Michigan, has 70,000 miles on it and features an automatic transmission. The exterior is black and the interior is blue. Having passed through multiple owners, this vehicle is paid off. 
The seller describes it as old school cool with all trim pieces and a matching numbers engine included. Although the brakes have been redone, the car hasn't run in about 15 years. This project car requires significant restoration work and the buyer will need to arrange for pickup. The asking price reflects the need for extensive repairs and restoration, making it a suitable option for classic car enthusiasts willing to invest the necessary time and effort. This 1978 Mercedes-Benz 300CE, listed for $1,400 in Charlotte, North Carolina, has been driven 200,000 miles and features an automatic transmission. The exterior is white and the interior is blue. Uh, running on diesel, this vehicle is fully paid off. The seller highlights that it has brand new tires and a new windshield, and it runs and drives excellently, making it suitable as an everyday driver. Despite its high mileage, its recent maintenance and reliable performance could make it a practical choice for someone looking for a budget-friendly, classic vehicle. However, prospective buyers should still consider the age and potential long-term maintenance costs. This 1965 Chevrolet C10, listed for $1,800 in Houston, Texas, comes with an automatic transmission and a blue exterior. It has been through multiple owners and is fully paid off. While the truck has rust, the seller includes some replacement metal parts, such as floors, rockers, and front fenders, along with new carpet. The underdash AC is still mounted and the seat is in great shape. To be drivable, it needs brakes and tires. Recent upgrades include a new fuel system, carburetor, distributor, and wires. The truck starts up and runs, but requires fine tuning to run perfectly. It does not come with a title, though the VIN is clean and clear. The seller is open to trades or cash offers. Prospective buyers should consider the additional work needed to restore and register this vehicle. This 1966 Ford F-100, listed for $2,000 in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, features a manual transmission with an original blue exterior and interior. It has been driven approximately 50,000 miles and is described as needing bodywork. Um, the truck has been stored in a barn and has less than 50,000 miles on the odometer, but due to recent high winds damaging the barn, it had to be moved. The seller is listing it on behalf of a friend and does not have all the details about its condition or history. Potential buyers should consider that additional information might be needed to fully assess the truck's condition and restoration requirements. This 1976 Dodge W100 Club Cab, listed for $1,000 in Greenfield, Missouri, is equipped with an automatic transmission and boasts a rare combination of being a 4x4 club cab with a short bed. It features a 318 engine that isn't seized, indicating potential for restoration. The exterior is gold, complemented by a brown interior. Despite having rust, the seller highlights the truck's motor condition as a positive aspect, suggesting it as a promising project vehicle. It's described as a unique find not commonly seen. The vehicle comes with a clean title and is offered for $1,000 in cash or trades involving project vehicles from before 1980. Delivery is only considered nearby for an additional fee. Additionally, the seller mentions the availability of front and rear eight bolt axles that could potentially be included in the deal. This makes the truck an intriguing option for enthusiasts looking for a distinctive restoration project. This 1979 Dodge D250 regular cab long bed listed for $650 in Palmerton, Pennsylvania, originally had a manual transmission and a blue exterior. It runs on gasoline and features a 318 two-barrel engine. Initially equipped with a four-speed transmission, the truck currently lacks both transmission and pedals, though it was operational before the transmission was removed. It also includes a Dana 60 rear axle. Notably, the truck does not come with a title, and the bed cap shown in the pictures is not part of the sale. Despite these issues, the vehicle's low price and its potential with a strong rear axle and functional engine may appeal to buyers looking for a restoration project or parts vehicle. However, prospective buyers should consider the absence of a title and the need for transmission installation before making a decision.